The ultimate car mod brings cars, road construction and biodiesel production into Minecraft. There are many vehicles with different features to choose from. So, let's begin. Just a quick warning that a lot of the fun of driving cars in this mod comes at the cost of quite a few recipes and machines that will take quite a while to work on, so just be prepared to do a bit of tinkering before you get to race around. You can always go into creative mode and just spawn in the items if this feels like too much work. So before driving a car, the first step is producing fuel. First, we need to collect canola seeds. These can be obtained the same way as normal seeds, simply just destroy grass. You can cultivate and harvest canola the same way as wheat. Now we need an oil mill to produce canola oil out of the crops. To operate the mill, we need energy from a dynamo with a crank. Later, you can use a fuel generator, which is far more efficient, but requires fuel and an engine to operate. To operate the dynamo, place the crank on top of the dynamo block and right-click it to produce electricity. You need to connect the dynamo and the mill with a cable. Now we can produce canola oil and the mill will collect the oil. You will get canola cake as a byproduct, which can be used to breed all animals that can be bred with wheat. Second, we require methanol. You need to craft a blast furnace and put wood logs into it. The furnace also needs energy. Now we need to mix both fluids in the back mix reactor. You can connect the oil mill and the blast furnace with fluid pipes to the back mix reactor. Do not forget to put fluid extractors at the mill and the furnace to get the fluids flowing. The back mix reactor also needs to be connected to the dynamo network. Now simply connect the back mix reactor and the split tank with fluid pipes and a fluid extractor. The split tank doesn't need electricity to work. By the way, you can always store your fluids in tanks after every step. Do not forget the fluid extractors and make sure you are not mixing up your fluids as it can mess up your process. To prevent mixing of different fluids, you can use filters in fluids extractors. For filters, you have to gather one bucket of the specific fluid. This may take a while. To apply a filter, you can place a bucket filled with the specific fluid you want to filter in the slot of the fluid extractor. Right-click the fluid extractor to see the slot. The split tank will output two different fluids. One is biodiesel, which we can collect in a tank or directly output to a fuel station. The other is glycerin, which for now is useless but has to be collected in a tank to make the split tank process go on. With enough fuel produced, you can craft a generator powered with biodiesel. The generator is far more efficient than the dynamo. You can supply the generator directly with biodiesel from a fluid pipe or with a canister. To craft a car, we need one car workshop block and eight car workshop parts. Note that this is a multi-block structure and will not work when it is not completed. Place the car workshop surrounded by eight workshop parts. To use the workshop, right-click on it. As the base of your car, you need a body. There are five different types of bodies, the wooden body, available in all wood types, the big wooden body, the transporter body, the SUV body, the sports car body, and next you will need wheels for your car. There are two types of wheels, big wheels and normal wheels. Every car except the transporter needs four wheels and the transporter needs six wheels. The SUV needs big wheels and every other car needs small wheels. Note that you have to put every wheel in each separate slot of the car. Your vehicle also needs an engine. There are three types of engines, an A3 cylinder engine, a six cylinder engine, and a truck engine. The six cylinder engine makes your car much faster, but also needs more fuel. And the truck engine is the most fuel efficient engine. Another required component is the tank. There are three different types of tank, small, medium, and large. The small tank can hold 500 millibuckets of fuel, the medium 1000 millibuckets, and the large tank 1500 millibuckets. These components are the essentials to build a car. The following parts are optional. With the license plate holder, you are able to mount a license plate with custom text to your car. A license plate can be written on by right-clicking it. You can apply a license plate to a car by sneak and right-clicking the plate onto the car. Note that this requires a license plate holder on the car. The bumper can be added to all wooden cars, but is only cosmetic. Transporters are able to have either a container that extends your car's inventory or a tank container that holds up to 64,000 millibuckets of fluid. To drive, you have to turn on your engine first by pressing and holding the R key until the car is started. If your car won't start anymore, it's because your battery is empty. 
You can recharge your car battery either by driving around or by putting a fully charged battery into the slot with the battery icon. A fully charged battery contains 500 RF, this is enough to fill your car battery halfway. The starting time of your car is dependent on multiple factors. If your engine is cold, the car takes longer to start. The engine temperature rises if your car is running. If your engine is turned off, the engine temperature will slowly decrease. If your car is parked in a cold biome, the engine can get colder than in warmer biomes. If your car is damaged, it takes longer to start. This gets worse the higher the amount of damage is. If your battery gets emptier, your car takes longer to start. When you spawn your car on the workshop, it will have 10% of fuel, so you can drive to the next fuel station. You can also refuel your car with a canister. The canister can be refueled by shift right clicking a fuel station. To refuel your car with a canister, you have to put the canister in the slot with the canister icon. If you have run out of fuel, you can push your car by sneaking against it. You can repair your car in the car workshop or with a car repair kit. The repair kit will repair 5% of damage by putting it into the slot with the repair kit icon. You can destroy your car by holding a hammer slash screwdriver slash wrench in your hand and hitting it twice within half a second. Your car can get damaged if you drive against other cars or blocks. It can also get damaged by being in contact with water or lava. Your car can't get damaged by hitting it or by any other means. By pressing I while sitting in the car, the car UI will open. Here you can check your car's damage, fuel level and inventory. There will also be damage indication and your car inventory. You can also access the car GUI from the outside by shift and right clicking it. For transporters, the outside inventory is a separate inventory so you can transport more stuff. If you craft a vehicle, you will get two keys which will be in the car inventory. You can lock and unlock your car by right clicking the key when you are in the range of 25 blocks. You can duplicate your key by putting a key and an iron ingot into a crafting table and the new key will be a copy of your old key. Every car except the SUV can only drive up half a block, so asphalt, slopes, slabs or normal slabs must be placed on the road. Asphalt is used to construct roads, for height variation of your road you can use asphalt slopes, flat asphalt slopes and asphalt slabs. You can add street markings to your road with painters. Select the type of marking you want by sneak and right clicking the painter or the yellow painter and clicking on the type you want. You can place markings on the ground by right clicking. The street safety can be increased by adding guardrails to the side of roads so that you won't get stuck off the road. Signs can be edited by right clicking them. You can put text on both sides of the sign each side of the sign can have four lines of text. That will do it for the Ultimate Cars mod. It is available to download in the description. Thank you so much for watching and take care.